G'day Ziggy D here with some Diablo 3 news. Patch 1.0.5 has been updated with difficulty nerfs to monster power and the Act 3 Keywarden. The footage I have for you in the background today is some uber runs I did with a party a couple of days ago. One of them is actually a regular viewer on this channel. I got really lucky on these runs and managed to get two out of the three possible organ drops even though we were only playing on Monster Power 4. So you may have noticed that there was a system maintenance last night and during this time the update was applied to the servers. There was no patch download for this one as everything changed was just server side settings. So the first change in this update was an overall nerf to mob damage output in Inferno in the Monster Power system. The reduction is around 25% overall with heavier reductions at the higher Monster Powers. So whereas Monster Power 10 used to have a 370% damage scaling, it now only has 250% scaling. If you are having trouble with the higher Monster Powers mainly due to constantly dying, then this should increase the Monster Power you can do by at least one or two levels. The reasons given for this change by Lylira was that Monster Power damage increases were scaling with Elite and Champion affixes incorrectly, causing them to output way more damage than expected. This had the effect of eliminating a lot of build and class variety in the uppermost Monster Power levels. Players seem to be a bit divided on this change, with some claiming that reducing damage eliminates the viability of tankier builds, and others saying that the damage reduction was needed in order for their class to be able to stack enough damage to farm higher monster powers. Having not ventured beyond monster power 5 myself, I'm not too sure how this plays out yet, but I'm keen to hear what you guys think. So the other update was a big nerf to the Act 3 Keywarden Zarith. If you've fought him since the update then you may have noticed that he can no longer spawn illusions and it, that he's much slower moving. This is because he no longer spawns with the illusionist or fast affixes. In addition to this the damage and movement speed reduction of his ice barrage ability has been reduced. I personally felt like Zarith was quite easy to deal with if you led him to a choke point or a staircase where his illusions would cluster in and where his ice attack wouldn't spread so far. I do know that some other players had a lot of trouble with him though. I personally feel like a slight reduction in damage and the spawn rate of his illusions would have been more than enough of a nerf to satisfy most people, but again, I'm keen to hear your thoughts on this as well. So in other news, I actually did another set of three uber runs today with the same party that you're watching now. I had incredible luck again with uh, another of two out of the three organs dropping. As such, I now have enough to make my very first hellfire ring. Later today, I'm going to record making my first ring, it just feels like it could be a fun event to capture. I'm hoping I'll either get a really good ring or a really terrible one. If you're keen to see that video, then I should be getting it uploaded sometime over the next 12 hours. Overall, I'm really loving patch 1.0.5. I know I've said this before, but I'm playing more now and having more fun than I did even at launch. This patch was a huge addition to the game. It's by no means enough for Blizzard to stop and rest on their laurels. I mean, they still have to get PvP out. But it's a great sign of things to come. I'm still holding out for Diablo 3 to be Game of the Year 2013. So that's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.